So two vids in one day today. It's becoming increasingly clear that the powers that be are not going to stop until they put out some sort of internet censoring bill. Uh, SOPA, ACTA, CISPA, I think there was even one before SOPA. I thought it began with a P or something. <clears throat> Point is, we're not going to stop fighting, but apparently neither are they. And let's be honest, their resources are impressive, to say the least. So, let's say worst case scenario. One of them goes through. I mean, CISPA's already gone through. If Obama doesn't veto it, then there you go. What do you do to maintain your anonymity then? So I'm going to tell you what you do. From simplest to, you know, more extreme. Uh, first, obviously, this won't help you if someone's tracking your IP, but don't use your real name if it can be helped. Uh, that's rule number one of pretty much anything on the internet. Don't use real name. Um, have backups. Use aliases for different sites. Use uh, different passwords for different sites. And have multiple accounts on different sites. I myself have two Facebooks. Jeez, I used to have dozens of MySpaces. Uh, but two Facebooks. One of them I use for certain things. And then I have my mainstream one. Um, so backups of those. Proxies. Proxies change your IP address. Now there's free proxies and then there's uh, ones that aren't free. Obviously free ones are a little bit easier to get through than the ones you pay for. One uh, good free one is called Tor. That's T-O-R. Now there are web-based uh, proxies where you just go to the proxy site and then there's a little spot you type in the address you want to go to and it brings you to that website under a proxy server. Yeah, that works. Um, but I prefer using Tor, which is a program. You download it and then it's one click and it changes your identity for all further connections. Um, that one's free. If you want complete invisibility online, you need to put out a little bit of money. Um, I use Molvad. M-U-L-L-V-A-D. This costs uh, five euros a month, or 750 American, roughly. And what it does is it bounces your IP to another country, and it's completely impenetrable because the company Molvad has a policy where they will not, under any circumstances, give out your information. Um, it's completely foolproof. Uh, it's, it works so well for me that it actually fools my internet browser. My browser thinks I live in Sweden. Uh, it, like sometimes I have to even like, use my Google Translate feature to translate web pages because they'll come up in Swedish or Dutch. Sometimes they come up in like Italian. It bounces its random countries in Europe. Um, so that's pricey, but you know you get what you pay for. Pirating. Um, the way that people track torrenting is because of the upload. Not because you're downloading, because you're uploading. Uh, the way that the internet works, every time you do anything online, every any time you click any button, any time you go to any page, you're downloading tiny, tiny bits of data. So downloading is not a problem because it gets caught in all this data and it can't be made, sorted out and they can't tell what you're doing just from downloading. But when you torrent, you're uploading the data as well as downloading. Um, and they can track this anomalous uploading. Uh, so my recommendation, if you're like living on college, this is especially useful because it, they track uh, up that upload hardcore on college campuses. Uh, use something like Rapid Share, like uh, Mega Upload used to be. Uh, use those because that's straight downloading. There is no upload involved. They can't find you when you do that. Uh, there was a worry when Mega Upload went down that you know people who had used the site they'd be able to see who used it and they'd be able to go after these people. That's not really a concern. If they can see every single person that actually used the site, it's not feasible to go after these people. Millions of people, millions of downloads. It would take decades to do all the court all the uh, court trials. Not to mention the millions of dollars in court fees and lawyers and all this stuff. Honestly, I mean, are they going to pay thousands and do thousands of dollars on a uh, trial 
when you downloaded like a video game that you know it's for two systems ago I don't think so it's just more hassle than it's worth um, so pretty much these are uh, really solid tips to uh, maintain your anonymity online um, you know people like me are going to keep fighting to make sure that no bill like that actually goes through I'm going to be participating in some in some protests in June um, <clears throat> You know, I recommend you guys do uh, do as well if you uh, believe the same way. Otherwise, have a good one.